our next part of our TFCon haul will be looking at the next exclusive for the convention, which was the Ocular Max Rewind. Now, here's in its default configuration, uh, looking very much G1 tune, and uh, yeah, looking very nice, very, very nice. You can look at his head. Now, I will show you the pieces that were TFCon exclusive. So, once he does come out of regular retail, he won't come with these particular pieces, so... Fuck. I can't get it off. <laughs> so, this is black piece inside here. That's exclusive. This shoulder piece right here. Um, that side I can get off. Or, I did, and now it's stuck back on again. But, eh, I guess that's the way of things. And then this head. Now... I spent, I don't know, like an ungodly amount of time trying to track down where some of these fucking pieces for. I get these instead, bigger shoulders. That I get. I was surprised he did not come with an IDW head, nor did he come with a G1 toy head. Like these faces are really close to looking like the G1 toy, but they're missing the, they're missing the mouth guard that the G1 toy had. Because that had a mouth plate. So it's kind of weird, but um, I guess that's what they're not going for. I get why it comes with these, because I know Ocular Max's stuff, they often go for that Studio Ox design, and these are very much based on the Studio Ox. I was able to find that info pretty quickly in images as well. But um, And then this one is the G1 cartoon, pretty simple. It was this fucking head. I was trying to find where this was from. Couldn't find anything until I was... I decided to look, okay, maybe, maybe there's the animation error in Transformers the movie. Because I could have sworn these guys look like that in the movie. No. Turns out, this is the head design from the movie. Which you only see for a split second, but it's the design. <laughs> it is so fucking bizarre. I actually kind of like this design over the weirdness of the original G1 head, but uh, yeah. And if you want to see the difference with the shoulders, you just take them off. It's pretty simple little surgery boop that's the difference um, yeah I'm gonna take it off because we are actually gonna just transform this stock configuration oh but one thing you can do you can have him on the side of his arm like on the G1 toy so that's a thing you can do also there's some tabs right here you can do that as well so you have options. Now we're just kind of going to move that stuff off to the side. Ah. And begin this. So, transformation on this guy is fairly simple. Um, if I can remember. Oh, yeah, the head stays there. I remember. Okay. I, it's been a fat minute since I transformed him. So, yeah. But. My brain's starting to work, so that's great. Um, so you move those up. Boop, boop. That covers that. I believe we get... I can't remember how the arms exactly fold, but I do know those move. Because I believe those go right there. And then... I, shit. I want to say this arm piece moves. Yeah, okay. That opens up. So I can fold that. In on its yeah, cause that tabs in like so. Coo coo, and then that boop. There we go. Perfect. So that's how you get the arm. So I'll kind of go over it, uh, or yeah, I will go over it right now. So you flip these pieces around, then you push that up, move that, move this piece, that tabs into that, and then, yeah, you just kind of move things accordingly, so, perfect. Now what we want to do, oh yeah, there's die cast in the feet, these parts are die cast. Open that up, open that up. I think you keep the foot where it's at. I'm not 100% sure. I I want to say you keep it. 
where it's at again not 100% certain but yeah because I'm trying to kind of remember how to transform this okay yeah okay I think I remember okay yeah okay I'm just kind of having to do this and then being like okay yeah that's exactly how that goes and then we got it Boop, boop, and then you can start to see the cassette mode is coming along. And, oh dear. Okay, let me fold that back up. Move that like so. that like so just ah, make sure you got everything pushed in and you may have to retransform these legs to get everything all situated but yeah okay ah, it's a little fiddly but it's not a bayformer fiddly so there's that. <laughs> um, ah, shit. That came apart. Um, shit. Fuck. Ah, fucking. Ah, Christ. <laughs> uh, thank God these parts are metal. Because if that was plastic, I would be kind of worried. Okay. Um. Other than those side pieces kind of folding in on themselves if you kind of put too much pressure on it. Aside from that, everything's all pretty set. There you go, you get your cassette. It's supposed to be the size of a... Think of an actual cassette, I think it is. Or so. Um, I don't have an actual cassette to compare this with. But it that's pretty much the right size, just about. I think it's a little bit bigger. Um... But yeah, it's nice, very nice, very nice. Simple transformation, not complicated. Here he's compared with his accessories. <laughs> but yeah, no, this was the uh, Rewind, and it's it's a fun figure, it is. It's an easy recommend, especially when it comes out. I would recommend picking them up if you like the Rewind and Eject. They did say I think they are doing an Eject. Uh, or it, I can't remember, but they did their Rumble Frenzy set, so honestly, if they don't do a eject, that'd be kind of fucking weird, but yeah, they did Steel Jaw, they did Ravage, I think they did Laser Beak and Buzzsaw, and they did a couple versions of Rumble Frenzy, like a clear version, and then like a regular one, and then they did Enemy, who is a TFCon exclusive, but I can't remember which convention he was at I would love to get my hands on that one but um don't know if I ever will but yeah anyways been me qua here signing out you guys have a good one peace